Hi, my name is Tanya. Hi, my name is Liz. And welcome to our monthly update on our Rotor Team initiative. Uh, so yesterday and today I started emailing all of the people who signed up in the last week for our Rotor Teams uh, and in the last month as well. So if you're part of one of the bigger genres like fantasy and romance or mystery, you probably already received an email from me. Yeah, so make sure to check your spam folders um, because you might have an invite there from Tanya. Um, also, just keep in mind if you're in a smaller genre, so maybe something like historical fiction, um, memoir, um, business, business um, some non-fiction things, it can be difficult to try and get a team together, so just be more patient because we'll be waiting for more people to sign up and then hopefully we can get you all together in a team as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly. We'll email you then in a couple of weeks as soon as we have enough people. Uh, in some cases, I added you in an existing team. So, for example, if you write YA or uh, bi biography and memoirs or uh, women's fiction, uh, we have like uh, oh, existing teams that work together quite good. So it's it's a nice way to check. Yeah, it makes sense to join something that already works very well. So um, don't be afraid, and people wouldn't let you in if they didn't want you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, so just for when you do get invited to your group and you're all introduced to each other, um, a really good way to get started is to just start emailing each other. So um, there might be someone who's been nominated as a team lead, or no, sorry, nominated themselves as a team lead, um, and they would be a good person to try and get the ball rolling. But if no one is actually making any contact and it's just silence, then just take the initiative yourself and put, put yourself out there and email everyone. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in the beginning, it can be quite slow because people have different schedules. So, for example, somebody will reply instantly, some will rep reply in a week. And that's yeah. all fine because we all have different schedules and that's normal. So please be patient and it will start. It's just if you need to send a reminder after a few days, please do. Yeah. That's fine as well. Uh, and one thing that we think is a great way to, to get the ball rolling as such is to ask everyone what their goals are for being in the author team. So what do they want to achieve from the author team? So for some people it might be, I want to get more reviews, so let's start a review club with it, with our own titles. Or for other people it might be about, I want to increase my mailing list. Exactly. Um, or, you know, doing more promotions with each other. Yeah, more social thing. media. Yeah, yeah, it depends. But if you have a focus, it will be easier for you to actually start working together because you'll know uh, where to start. Yeah, exactly. So start that conversation, see what people want to do and how you can support each other. And I guess try and come to uh, a compromise about where you want to start and go from there. Yeah, exactly. Also, uh, it seems that one of the best ways to uh, work together and to communicate is to create a Facebook group. At least it's, it is for our previous teams. Obviously, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can use Hangouts or any other you know, tool. Uh, you can also use the spreadsheet I included, but the spreadsheet is more like a, a way to keep track of all the members and what else can you do yeah. once, you're, once you're part of the team. Again, it's up to you, but we recommend Facebook groups. Yes. Um, so just as we're going to talk very, very briefly <laughs> about how you can potentially use your... A newsletter to your subscribers to work with your teammates. Yeah. So uh, basically you might first want to introduce your subscribers to your teammates by introducing their books. So yeah. your subscribers will tend to be readers who enjoy your genre so you'll be in a group of people who are in your genre. So you can say oh if you like my writing you might enjoy these books as well. Yeah. You can also feature an interview for example on your blog and then email that to your uh, email list or you can review one of your teammates books and include that review in, in the email. Anyway, you can include whatever you want uh, as long as it's connected to your team members and you still have something to share with your email subscribers because we know that sometimes it's an issue what what else to send them, how to keep the list alive. So this yeah. is one of the ways. Yeah, so it's a really great way to create content with your team members of your team members that you can use yourself either on your blog or in your mailing list. Or both. Or both, exactly. So you can have them on both. You can direct people to your blog and um, link from your blog out from your mailing list. So, you know, it's just a great way to uh, help you come up with content that will keep your subscribers reading your emails. Exactly. Also, please don't forget to include the book cover and the link to the book of your team member. So, for example, if you're writing a review, you can say you can find the book here. Yeah. So just make sure that when you are um, introducing your team member, that it is going to be helpful for them as well for helping you, mate. 
Okay, uh, and the final thing, uh, most of you already know, but we have an October magazine coming out in two weeks' time. Uh, we are uh, looking for submissions for it, so you can write something as, uh, as a theme if you'd like, for example, a short story or a few short stories, or you can submit something individually, it can be a review or a list of books you enjoy, it can be holiday related, Halloween related, anything you might like. Yeah, so um, if you want to submit, do they submit to Hannah or for Oh, admin books go social. I'm in a books go social. Um, so just keep in mind, we're not looking for self-promotional posts, so we don't want you writing a review of your own book, or um, you know, picking your own book as your favorite book for the season, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, it's something that's gonna be interesting to readers, and at the end, you can put in your book cover and link out to your book so people can know if they enjoyed what they read, they can go buy your book then. Yes, exactly. Uh, also, we are looking for free books that are free in October and November. So if your book will be free or is free, you can uh, send it on to us and we'll include it for free in our magazine. <laughs> yeah. And as always, if you want to buy advertising in the magazine, you can do that as well. Okay, thank you for listening. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you in November. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments or email us directly. And enjoy sign, we'll do a sign up. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave the sign up for author teams underneath as well. Yeah.